Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by News Dubette, America's leading spray deodorant. The lotion spray deodorant created by Dr. Jules Montagnier, world famous cosmetic chemist. Now, let's all play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And tonight, about to come in, substituting for Desi Arnaz, a man whose wit has not lost its sharp edge in all the years he's been entertaining, Mr. Fred Allen. During the month of February, ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate the birthdays of three famous men, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and Jack Benny. Now today, Lincoln has his head on the penny, Washington has his head on the $1 bill, and Jack Benny has his hands on all of the rest of the money. <laughs> and here is a young lady who has mentioned Jack Benny's name many times in a syndicated column, <laughs> Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. forgotten about me, Fred. No. Uh, now, I'd like to introduce someone I know you'll be very glad to welcome back. Uh, he has just returned from sunny California and the great Northwest with the most marvelous tan, our own Bennett Surf. I, I didn't realize how smart you all were until I watched you in California last week. And, and uh, the silver-tongued gentleman, panel moderator, who keeps the pace going, is now about to make his great entrance, itty-bitty-witty John Charles <laughs> Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And panel, I've got great news for you. Mask up. Oh, <laughs> oh. We're up to some uh, tricks tonight, just to add some spice to the normal Sunday evening's operations. Actually, panel, I think you know the terms of reference. Our first guest will be somebody who, by costume or appearance, or because of speci specific identification factors involved with him in one way or another, would be known to you or at least give you a clue. So we have to ask you to put your masks on. And, uh... It's a tricky occupation and a very pleasant guest. And later on, we'll have a guest, mystery guest, to challenge your wits. But I think right now it's time to see what you can do with our first challenges. So will you come in and sign in, please? Sir, I would ask you as our guest, first of all, if you are aware of the scoring system on this program. Yes, sir. You do know what it is. All right, fine. If you know what our scoring system is, I will then uh, let the folks at home and the friends that we have here in the theater know exactly what your line is. tell you only that our guest is self-employed, and we'll begin the general questioning with Fred Allen. Oh, John, you said that we're uh, masked because we would know this person's name or would know the person by sight. Is that true? No, actually, Fred, what I said is that there is an area of identification which might be available to you if you were unmasked, and we just didn't feel we ought to take a chance on it. Well, uh, can I speak to the person now? Yes, certainly. <laughs> if you don't mind, John. Not a bit, Fred. Uh, do you have anything to do uh, with the entertainment business? Yes. That's a, a man, am I right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I'm going like a houseifier, a wet houseifier, John. <laughs> do you, uh, you do have something to do with the entertainment business. 
There is a relationship, Fred. We wouldn't want to mislead you, but we would have to agree that there, can, there could be, and there probably is, a relationship between our guest and the entertainment business. Well, uh, is, our guest, uh, is our guest ever seen on the television screen? Is his face ever seen on the television screen? Yes. Well, I assume with all of this red tape, then, that you are not a, a performer or an actor, per se. No. That's, You're not. Uh, yes, he is not a performer or actor, no. Uh, and you ask, well, are you, uh, are you in the political field? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you ever wear uh, a uniform or costume that would distinguish you from, say, Fred and Bennett? We'll have to have a conference. <laughs> He must have something on, I would think. <laughs> yes. Are you... Uh, your voice keeps changing. Are there more than one of you, or are you just good at that sort of thing? Is the question... Is, uh, oh, I'm afraid we have found out. Is the question... The question is, are, are there more than one of you, or one of your ilk, present here? Because I keep... My ear keeps playing tricks, and it sounds like more than one voice. No. That's two down a date to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, have you ever distinguished yourself in any one of the arts? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Uh, I want to be sure that I am correct in uh, uh, realizing what Fred has said. He said, are you part of the entertainment world? And you said yes, that you were. Is that correct? We said, yes, and actually... There is an Arnie, area. I clarified to say that there is a relationship between our guest and the entertainment world, which would certainly need to be recognized. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. And he has appeared on television. Yes. Now, would that be the sort of thing that you do regularly? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. Well, are you, are you associated with any uh, television enterprise uh, regularly? Are you associated with any particular show, or are you... A Yes? Yes, I would say so. Uh, pardon me, Fred, you got a yes. <laughs> Quite a surprise to me, too, John. <laughs> do you, uh, and you wear a costume? Do Sometimes, you, yes. Do you, uh, are you on a regular, are you associated with a regular program? Is it on uh, every day, or? I think that we're bringing the building down, John. <laughs> are you associated with a regular program? Is you mean in terms of every day, Fred? Uh, uh, well, I would say uh, every day, yes. No. That makes it five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you associated with any type of quiz or panel show? Yes. Uh, are you a famous contestant on a quiz show? <laughs> No. That's six down and four to go, Mr. Yes, sir. Have you got anything whatever to do with this particular panel show? What's my line? We'll have to have a conference on that. I mean, I don't mean just now. Of course, he's, he's appearing on this show. You mean, is there any possible relationship between this show and our guest? Yes. Well, let not, me, I'll not, have to ask not counting, Not counting this particular moment. Uh, Bennett, our guest agrees that uh, we probably have to say yes to that. You're not being tricky, the, the, this conference. <laughs> uh, I'll bet he is, too. Would, uh, would this man ever appear in the control booth of What's My Line? It's possible, yes, he might. Could he possibly be the director of this show? No! Franklin <laughs> Heller? No, it's not no. Franklin Heller, our director. And I don't know how the show would be on the air if Frank Heller was out here, Bennett. You know. That's seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. It is, it is not the director. It is not the producer. Is it... Uh, well, we haven't... All we have ascertained so far, it is not the director. It is not the director of this show. That's right. Is he here usually before we get here? Is our guest usually here before we get here? Or that's is our guest you? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's eight down and two to go, Mr. Allen. Is it the, uh, the director of the show? 
No, that was Ed. No. That's Frank Heller. Oh, I meant as it as the producer. Is it Mr. Fates? Mr. Gil Fates, Fred, I was afraid you were going to ask that question, and the answer no. is well, nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, he doesn't wear a uniform. I've never caught him in that. The doorman? Would you like to have well, a 15 seconds? You say he's no. not here before we get here, so it can't be a doorman. Well, that leaves Bill Paley. And it can't be a stand. <laughs> so, is it a policeman? Either right, you want the conference period is over, Miss Kilgallen. She's gone. <laughs> I really am. Uh, well, is it Bob Bach? Bob Bach? Golly day, no. That's ten down and no yeah, more to go, and you may remove your mask to get and meet out of Dr. Here. Jules Montagnier, our oh. sponsor. Oh. I must say, I thought Bennett had us on the ropes there for a while. And I trust, Bennett, that our conference threw you off a bit anyway, if you were on the right line. I wasn't poofing properly. <laughs> oh, no! Please. Goofing. From goof to poof. Oh, well, the uniform is the white coat you sometimes awesome. wear in the commercial, you oh. sneaky sponsor. <laughs> You have to give it to both parties, so one week we have to have Remington on now. That's what they say. <laughs> well, not on, uh, you can't have Remington on Lincoln's birthday with that beard. I mean... <laughs> I would say this, Doctor, if I may, and I know that I speak for all the members of the panel. This is by way of being the first Sunday after our sixth anniversary, and through all of these six years, you've been with us. And I think if there's anything in this game that we who are a part of it in terms of appearing before cameras like its sponsors who don't interfere with programs. And I would say very quickly and very quietly that Dr. Montagnier has never interfered with this program, and we're very fond of it. It's also my pleasure tonight to congratulate you and the panel for six an the sixth anniversary of a successful television show. I look at it myself every Sunday. <laughs> I like it. Will you renew, Dr. Martinier? <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> and I look at it not because I'm the sponsor, because I like the show. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, That's very nice. <laughs> and now, sir, you have been very generous, and I would like to say that it, uh, it's about time for me to say, and now a word from our sponsor. Time for the experts to meet our next contestant. So will you come in and sign in, please? No, no blindfolds. Just sign in right there, sir. John. John Anderson, is that right, sir? Mr. Anderson, where are you from? Uh, Bergenfield, New Jersey. Bergenfield, New Jersey. Well, you are practically neighbors to my friends on the panel. Suppose you take a walk down there and let them get a closer look at you, will you? Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Anderson, glad to know you. All right, Mr. Anderson, over here, if you will, now, and sit down next to me. I wonder if you're familiar with our scoring system, are you? I believe so. Yeah. All right, if you're familiar with it, it's very simple. Every time you can give the panel a no, I'll flip a card, and when I flip ten cards, you've won the game. All right, now let's let the people at home and those who are here with us in the theater know exactly what your line is. All right. Mr. Anderson is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Uh, do you uh, deal in services, Mr. Anderson? Yes. Are they available to both men and women? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> you have the air about you of a professional man. Do you have formal training for your job? Yes. Now, this is formal training, yes, not necessarily within the accepted terms of reference of graduate degrees, etc. Yes, all right. Um, would you be considered a professional man, then? Yes. Do you have any title? Yes. Like king or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to meet the king of Mon Monaco. No, 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 I don't want you to meet the king. Do you work in an office? Uh, yes. 
In a manner you, of speaking, yes. Do you ever work in a um, laboratory? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Mm. Do people come to you for these services? Yes. In your office? You never well, know. Well, now, Fred, uh, before we get misled by the office, uh, our guest has office, yes. Uh, he doesn't in a manner go in of it? speaking, and you can take it from there. But you mean he doesn't go in his office? <laughs> <laughs> Or he only lets people in when he's not in the office? Is it a, a new profession? That is, that is the way he sees it. Well, do you, uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. You do. Do you uh, touch these people at all? Do you improve? Do you, do you put your hands on them in any way when they come to you? No. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, I'm curious about your title, Mr. Anderson. Uh, is it something other than a title of royalty or nobility? Yes. Is it something other than judge? No. Is it something other than judge? Oh, well, I thought you did. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Uh, you work for a profit-making organization, so it can't be congressman or senator, can it? Not That's necessarily. Good sure. presumption. Uh, if they're making profit, we better learn about it right now. <laughs> Uh, is it uh, either professor or doctor? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Anderson, it is Mr. Land, if it is not doctor. Uh, do you deal with some kind of uh, a substance, such as oil or some material that uh, you do your work with, as well as people? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Now, nobody has asked at all whether there is a product involved in what... Would uh, you like no, to ask Mr. that Anderson. question? I'd like to, but I know I'm a big fool to do it, John. <laughs> is there a product? That's the girl. Oh. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Do you have anything to do professionally with animals? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. John, would you straighten me out on the title thing? Did hmm? you or did you not say that Mr. Anderson had a title? He has a he title. Other than name. Mr. Other than Mr. Okay, it could, oh, oh, may we have a conference? <laughs> Arlene has just had a weenie. He got oh. stung by a bee. No, no, it's wrong. All of a sudden, I thought he was a captain. But that's the government, so that's no good. No, it could be of a ferry boat or something. Yeah. Oh, yes, it could be. Uh, uh, are you uh, connected in any way with the sea? Yes. You see, Arlene? Uh -huh. Always speak up. <laughs> uh, to a captain, is he a captain? <laughs> Are you a captain of some type of vessel? Yes. Is it smaller than an ocean liner? It's not smaller than an ocean liner, and it, and it is not a government battleship. It must be, per se, an ocean liner. That's Correct? right. <laughs> and uh, is, it, is it a ship that flies under the American flag? Yes. Fly. Is it the United yes. States? Yes. Yes! It is indeed a ship that flies under the American flag, flag. and when you see the United States take off in the Hudson River, it's glorious. That big ship goes right straight up in the air. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Captain Anderson is a commodore of the United States lines, but technically he is the captain also of the United States, right, sir? Which is, is quite a, a ship, by golly. I must say, uh, I had the privilege once of touring her, and it's the first time in a good many years, if I may say so as a layman, sir, that I feel we have a flagship for our commercial fleet that will stand up against anything that the other countries put on the water. <laughs> he is, uh, as the captain John, says, she betters him, too. John, and don't you think we ought to say that, be it understood, too, that he commands a right good crew, uh, union, you know. Yes, a right good crew, and uh, one further statistic, because I think all of us as Americans would be interested in it, this is the fastest ocean liner in the world, isn't it, Captain? That is correct. There you are. See? We got the fastest one in the world. Thank you very much, Commodore. It was wonderful having you here. Right now we come to the special feature of our show, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. I must ask the panel to put their masks on with dispatch, since time is running out very rapidly. I, haven't any I will get the scoreboard back to the beginning.
As you know, in this particular part of the program, we go to a different form of questioning. My friends on the panel ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And the masks are all in place, are they, panel? Yes, yes, yes Mr. Yes, Good. Yes. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? With respect to our mystery guest, we dispense with the usual formalities and get right down to that uh, one question at a time, which we'll begin with Dorothy Kilgallen. I don't think this is my big evening, John. Uh, are you in the movies? I'd say so. Mr. Sir? Uh, well, judging by those wolf calls, unless, unless I'm mistaken, uh, are you what would be known in, in the movies or anywhere else as a succulent dish? <laughs> I suppose to a certain point. I, I didn't hear that. I suppose to a certain point was the answer. Miss Francis? Well, uh, have you been in the theater? Yes. Well. Are you in the... Are you in a motion picture that's currently playing uh, on Broadway? Not currently, right now, no. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Have you been in the motion pictures more than you've been on the stage? Legitimate, that is. Have you been in motion pictures more than you've been on the stage, the legitimate stage? In number, yes. Hmm? In what? number, yes. Number of what? In number of appearances in the movies over that of the legitimate stage. You might say? Yes. That's nice, isn't it? All right, Mr. Sir. Could it be possible that you are at the very moment appearing in a play that also features a relative of a member of this panel? We are a little bit uncertain about the relatives of this panel. <laughs> well, uh, so let me have a small conference. Uh, you know what Bennett's thinking of, John. I'm thinking of the husband of the charming Miss Francis. Um, well, actually, Bennett, as I say, Maybe we are a little bit uncertain a about relatives of the panel, but I would say from our common knowledge of your several relatives <laughs> in their several capacities, we would hold that it is not necessarily true that our guest is currently appearing in a Broadway play with a relative of any member of the panel. <laughs> All right, Miss Francis. Well, since you have a conference, may I ask you if you would consider a husband a relative or just a friend of the family? <laughs> I would say that it would only be fair for me to remark at this time <laughs> that holding to the particularities of identification, we would not feel, the guest and I, that you could properly identify a husband as a relative. You couldn't? No. Relatives oh, have some God. blood designation, which Well, this is a kind of a blood designation husband. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you're uh, avoiding the issue, John. Is it Miss Mansfield? <laughs> <laughs> It is Will Success, Royal Spoil, oh, Rock Washington. Hunter, and Martin Gable, who is husband to Miss Arlene Francis. That was pretty well, tricky going, if I That was that pretty tricky time. going, I and Miss, so. Miss Mansfield, I think, contrived very well to confound you, and we thank you very much for I'm taking time to be our guest. You. It's nice to have you with us. <laughs> <laughs> you will all now begin to understand why it is I'm so devoted to my work. And now, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Arlene. Good night, John. Is the technical word for relative, really, it does mean a blood relation, doesn't it?
Actually, that's my understanding of it. I just want to be sure. Yes. I'm Thank anemic, you. and I am not a relative. I will say formally good night, Dorothy. <laughs> good night, Fred. Ben, be sure and go home and tell Phyllis that you're not related to her. Good night, <laughs> good night John, and uh, look out for Miss Mansfield. <laughs> Actually, there is a phrase related by marriage which opens all kinds of doors. Yes, it does, does it? Well, good yes. night. Good night, Dennis. <laughs> Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. Travel arrangements for What's My Line are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagship. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. In association with the CBS Television Network.